Brick Addicts, Lego like Lovers, ladies and gentlemen and friends from all over the world. Today, we're gonna sticker the McDonald's. When this thing goes in action, with the uh, brand new McDonald's stickers, hot off the computer, freshly designed, hot off the cutter, off to Sticker McDonald's. There we go. And uh, so we are going to make this McDonald's look like this one on both the inside and outside. Can we do it? Of course we can. But first, I wanted to show you we've got a new friend around Brick Attic Land. Brad Nevin from Animated Brick Builders. The wild man, Zabadak himself, me, Brick Addict. But we have Dr. Mick Brick. In fact, this is his limo we brought here to the airport today. So thank you, Dr. Mick Brick, for bringing all of us to the airport in your limo. So these guys are going to hang out and stand by while I sticker the McDonald's. All right, so actually what I'm gonna do, instead of starting off with this fresh sticker sheet that I just printed, I just noticed that there's a whole bunch of sticker sheets that have not quite been used up. So let's pull from these. So we'll start with the actual McDonald's. And of course, you know the importance of getting them straight. So let's pull that off just for a sec. Got to make sure the corner is absolutely perfect. And then, let's see, get that down real good on one side. So if you start at one corner, lock it down really good, and then take it across the top. Make sure it's level across the top, and you can release there and go just like that and there you have a perfect perfect sticker okay so for this piece we use a larger M for McDonald's and let's see there we go I think this one is gonna turn out better than this one why I just have a feeling okay same process you start at a corner once you get to that corner, lock it down. And once you're comfortable with it, and I'm not quite there yet, you just do that. And there's that. Now, one of the bad things about printing with the durable paper, you know, it's got its good and bad. It's nice and thick and durable, but it's a little thick to the point where it shows the uh, the thickness, essentially, is what you're seeing there, the um, thickness of the paper. So, but the set still looks amazing. Well, after going through all 10 of the sticker sheets that I uh, had partials of, I don't have one of those on one of those uh, sticker sheets. So, I'm gonna have to use this one. And this one is, since it's not square, you really got to be good with this one. You want to kind of try to line up the top as best as possible there. Lock in a corner. And usually if you lock in a corner and get it level over there, usually the rest will follow. So there we go for that. And, you know, you can be doubly critical of me since we've got one to compare it to that was actually done by someone in here who does this a lot. So, of course, I noticed they forgot to put the M's on that. So we've got a sticker sheet with an M, and this is probably one of the most tedious parts of this whole set, is this M, and getting this M off of the sticker page without ruining it. There we go. 
use. It's a very tedious sticker. And for this, it's best just to pull the door off. You know, normally, the uh, girls in here use tweezers for this, but I'm just gonna try to do it like this. I'm gonna hope I get it straight. That's a tough sticker. Yeah, see, I got it crooked. I'm not really sure of the best way to do this without using tweezers, to be honest with you, and hopefully I don't completely mess the sticker up. These stickers are pretty tough. All right, let me, let's hope this one turns out better. Um, I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna use a little corner. I'm gonna be very creative here. So I'm gonna use this corner. You can see that just to uh, hold that on. And so if I level that up just right. Right there, and then pull that off. There we go. There we go. So now we have to put one on the other side. <laughs> We're not quite done yet. And the reason we do stickers on both sides of the glass is so it looks good from, of course, both sides. All right, so I think I'm gonna go with the same theory or same method. I don't have any tweezers, so they always do this um with the tweezers. So we have to match this up as best as possible. And usually they do a pretty good job. In fact, the staff would probably have this whole set done by now. Alright, pull it from that and hmm, we're gonna have to go back and fix that. But I think they'll be able to fix that pretty easy. So that goes on there. Like that. And then um, this gets a open 24 hour sticker on it, 24 hour, which will go right here. Just kind of gives it a little bit of spark. I kind of eyeballed that with the, uh, the top there to make sure I had it. And are we ready now? I think for the side, there may be another one that goes on the front, but we'll check here in a few minutes. So I am currently looking, I'll show you. I'm going through my big stack of uh, McDonald's stickers and my friends are standing there watching me as we're getting ready to board that plane here in a few minutes. So um, what goes on the side here? It's on the one I just printed right there. This one here, and a beautiful sticker it is, is going to go on the window. So kind of eyeball that. And there you go. Now this also gets two sides. Which, as I said, makes it look a lot better, and I think I'm going to get it. Pop that window out. That'll uh, help me nail it. Let's see. There we go. So that's how they're supposed to look when they're on both sides. That's how the M should have looked. Okay, pop that back in there. To the uh, the fun stuff now. Let's see, there's there's the sticker someone else did. Oh, that's got people in it. That's got people eating uh, inside of it. 
Yeah, it's not completely stinkered. Huh. All right, so one of the uh, coolest parts is the menu board. I love the menu boards. These menu boards are pretty sweet. I'll zoom in for this. How about that? Sorry about the uh, crazy camera thing there when I was zooming in. Okay, so pick a corner, top left. Lock it down and go evenly across the top, and you never go wrong, folks. There's the menu board. Now we get into some more tedious parts, like the uh, ketchup, things like that, and uh, this here. Let's knock that out. Let's see. I'm gonna pop some of these. You know. A lot of times it's easier just to um, pull the pieces out. I'm gonna jump ahead for that. Let's really get in there. So here's another tedious one, and I might do that little paper trick again. So the uh, Coke fountain. Oops, that's way off. Had I designed this particular, the, uh, the Coke and Sprite going here, I probably would have used one sticker that was uh, like a, uh, a one by two size, something like that. This is not wanting to stick. All right, let's see. Can we get it? Will we succeed? Okay. And Sprite, and I've said many times in previous videos that we research restaurants when we do these sets and uh, in a lot of cases we even get with them and talk to them but uh, we always make sure to be accurate as far as what they use and the products and stuff like that so this is kind of a odd, odd little build here the way this is set up I zoomed in a little too far Check that out. Interesting. So, there's that. We're gonna hit the, uh, this cup here. And, uh, cups are cool. I'll explain this. The, uh, the sticker is not printed straight because it's got a wrap around this. So, you just kind of level that up. And it'll make sense if uh, in a minute if it doesn't already as you push it on and it makes that curve it ends up fitting perfectly so then when you put it here it looks just like a stack of mcdonald's cups works out quite nicely and you've got a very nice so it's a McCafe sticker to go on this, like a, a coffee cup, I guess, which goes around and right here. And then for this one, we've got an even smaller sticker for the cup. Uh, if I can find it, I made a mistake. That does not go on that, so I'm gonna pull it off. And I figured I'd include you all in this because I want to uh, share the fact that mistakes happen. Okay, it's the first time I've ever stickered this set. So this sticker goes on this. The Mech Cafe. There we go. That one goes there. The reason and the way that I figured that out was because I thought, what in the world goes on that one? So, I'm gonna show you. That one right there. On the coffee mug. Now it all makes sense. So that wraps around right like that. can't actually see it from the side where the set is placed, but for now we're gonna leave it like that. So, all right, and then a couple more very, very 
small tedious. Let's see. Which one is this? This is ketchup. Okay, so ketchup, of course, is red. Very tedious, folks. This is, uh, went on pretty good. Wow. Would I be conceited if I said I was impressed with myself or actually doing a good job on uh, getting that sticker on straight for the first time? Probably shouldn't because then I jink myself on that one. Wow. Look at that. That actually did all right. So, got a couple buns in the oven. <laughs> no pun intended. No pun intended. But if you do, congratulations. All right, so there we go. And that will go right here. Of course, the, uh, the cup came off. So see what I'm doing? I'll put that right there. Oops, it's upside down. All right. Yeah. Make a cafe cup. Just go right there. Let's go ahead and make this also a bun unit. Put another couple buns in the oven here, why don't we? Make sure the top is level, and that goes there. So, there we go, nice and stickered. So now we got three cash registers. Well, hey, I happen to have three cash register labels there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull them from the sticker sheet. All three of them. Stick them right here. And it is always easiest to pop these off. And yes, these are actual, actual, real screenshots of McDonald's screens. Courtesy of McDonald's. Thank you. So, popped the unit out as a whole. Stickers on. Got one more to go here. Let's get the uh, whatever that is on it. Something sweet that I don't eat. I'll just say that. And come on, almost there. Almost there. Okay, so that'll go there. Maybe. <laughs> All right, that one there, and those there. So you now have three registers for a bustling, busy McDonald's. What are we missing? The inside sticker. Not a problem. I have that right here. And it looks just like the front. Alright. And I'm not going to go messing up the last sticker. this and turn it until we get it to where we like it. There we go. There we go. Now we've got two McDonald's sitting here for the airport. Me and my buddies, we've got a plane to hop on and uh, hopefully he's ready to go. Of course, we might be taking that plane, but nevertheless, me and my buddies, again, Daryl, Brad and Evan, Zabadak, and our brand new friend to show up on the scene, Dr. McBrick. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you like the video, please smash that like button down below. And if you're into highly detailed Lego sets, click right there. If you're into blogs and behind the scenes stuff, click right there. Everyone, we will see you very soon in the next Brick Addict video.